We're back. Another week of homeschool. Well, kind of. Not really. Y'all, this week was a doozy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Why? It was a struggle. Why? Well, because, first of all, it was our week off. Mm -hmm. We school year round. And the way that we do that is... You do three weeks on, and then the and last, one week. The last, typically, the last week of the month, they do like a week off, which is really relaxed for the kids. Serena usually catches up with work. She usually doesn't rest. But the kids, it's usually more relaxed for the kids. They wake up and they do... Well, I'm trying to rest. That's the goal. The goal is to rest. But it never happens. But I'm trying. You didn't rest this week. I'm all. getting closer, y'all. Okay. <laughs> we have 38 weeks um, on. So we log 38 weeks of school. And then we have 14 weeks off, which is basically one week a month plus 10 floating days. So that just kind of sets the scene here. And we get one week off a month. I don't always take it. Um, which is not good. It's not good uh, when you have planned to have some time off to rest and you don't take it because then that just increases your chances of burning out. So I'm trying to discipline myself um, to just rest on that week. I'm trying y'all. I'm trying. But this week it was hard. It was hard because I have this vision for our family and um, I'm you working spend, on all these things. She spent the whole day Monday working on updating the website. Yeah. You know, the Falco website. So literally all day. I do think it's a great time, especially for like a working homeschool mama. You know, it's a great time for me to catch up on all my work during that time. But it's just a lot more restful and relaxing for the kids in homeschool to just kind of release them from our schedule. Mm -hmm. to take care of the plant and you're spraying yourself. <laughs> Thanks for helping me water my plants. No problem. All right, they like it. They like knowing that they're gonna have that week off to just kind of pick up a lot of the projects that they had been working on through the weeks that maybe we didn't get as much time to work on because we had to um, get through our scheduled lessons. So they really look forward to it. But this time around, it was just a doozy for me. It was a lot because I wanted to work on the website. I felt it's been really important and a big deal for me to get that done. So I did get quite a bit of it done. I'm yeah. excited about that. A lot of progress. Yeah. So I worked on the website, but at the same time, I wanted to be consistent here. Like it's important for me to be consistent here. And I think I was just going slightly bit of crazy. So even though we don't follow our regular schedule for our week off, we are still learning all the time. My goal for this week during our week off was to try to capture what our week off really looks like. That it's not actually a break from school, it's just kind of a break from the schedule. More relaxed. It's just yeah. a little bit relaxed. But it was like backfiring on me <laughs> because because I was trying to plan it out because the reality is in order for you to to film and capture those moments like there has to be a lot more a little bit more structure around it mm -hmm. and the way we do things is so effortless and it's so like organic that it's just hard to figure out you know well when am I gonna film this or where am I gonna film that but I'm I tried <laughs> I tried <laughs> I tried to have a plan for how we were going to do it and it was stressing me out, I'm not even going to lie. I probably didn't calm down till around Wednesday or Thursday. 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 <laughs> I feel like this week is really about the idea of teaching from rest because we all need rest friends. <laughs> So, um, and I was trying so hard and it wasn't until Thursday when I think I just got so overwhelmed and I felt, you know, I felt it in my spirit that was just like, just rest, like drop it and rest, like do your natural thing. And, um, and I think that's when things really started to come together. So what do I do? So I am teaching the kids about having dreams, about purpose and, um, 
and using their gifts. Uh, we have an app, we use an app where the kids log their hours. So this week, um, because I was working on the website, I wanted to get um, a couple of profile pictures, like bio pictures for them to add to the website. And they got to log their hours. And so they're like their first little jobs. <laughs> we tried to pick themes that had a lot to do with them and who they are. For Kendall, we had out his headphones because he is big on his device. His device is his friend and it opens up all these new doors that mommy couldn't necessarily um, open up for him on her own. So uh, we used the headphones for him. Mm -hmm. Along with his headphones for his prop, we used his chef hat and apron. Hi Kendall. Hi. Monsieur, quieres en ensalada? Sí, por favor. Pedro, lo siento. El ensalada no bien. No sandwich. Sí, por favor. Pedro. <laughs> You're such a cutie. <laughs> like I don't know about you guys. I know that pretend play is like a big thing. I'm not a huge fan of purchasing like um, many things specifically for pretend play. I just like to use our real things. Mm -hmm. Um, so we used a pot that we had mm -hmm. and we used a ladle mm -hmm. that we had that was like an actual cooking utensil and um, That's how they do pretend play. Yeah. So I talked about that in um, a patron fam podcast mm -hmm. About just being a bit extra and just being creative during our days and that we like doing that and mm -hmm. it gives me an opportunity for me to do what I like which is filming them and then they get to just kind of pretend play. And it's so cute because Kendall has been working on his Spanish. Yeah. So while I was filming him, he was kind of doing his own pretend play thing. He was putting the water in the pots and tasting his mm -hmm. um, creations. And then he was trying his best to say as much as he knew in Spanish. Yeah. It was so cute. Yeah, he's been practicing that a lot lately. Yeah. yeah. But you didn't see this. I'll have to show you the clip. Yeah. Why am I missing everything? <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. He was trying to string together like a whole sentence yeah. at being at the restaurant because he does Spanish um, mainly on Duolingo yeah. and you know they have their sectioned off into parts like the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So it was like the perfect opportunity that just kind of naturally fell into place um, of him being able to practice using his restaurant term. But he's been trying to do that a lot that we were playing basketball the other day and he just started saying something in Spanish. And he was? We were, <laughs> were at the park and there was a, um, a family that was speaking Spanish and he's kind of trying to figure out what they're saying and piece together. So he has been trying to use it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I didn't know he was doing that with you too. Yeah, well it happens just randomly. He'll just <laughs> say something. <laughs> So and then I have cute. to ask him to translate it. And he's so good. Like yeah. his language, like his ability to to pick up like just a natural flow. You know, he doesn't sound so, yeah, yeah, he doesn't he sound doesn't like really, yeah. straight up American. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's still with that. <laughs> and Cameron, we grabbed his basketball, grabbed the paints, and did mm -hmm. a little artist session because he is a huge, a huge He's fan into of the, the art. art. Yeah. She got out her garden set and she put on a garden hat and she she was so cute. She really was just so cute. Uh, I planned all these things for my 
Monday through Wednesday to try to capture, but that's really all I got accomplished from Monday to Wednesday. Then we moved on to Thursday when I decided to teach from rest. <laughs> I decided to let go of my plan and say, Serena, you know what? This is going to work out. Things are going to come together. But I did have a meltdown. It was a meltdown of epic proportions. <laughs> yeah. Serena's usually having a meltdown. She'll call me and she'll be like, well, are you almost home yet? And it'll be like 1130 in the morning. So I'll be like, um, not exactly how it works. I'm not almost <laughs> home yet. I can't really do that. So, uh, yeah. So I got, you know, one of those kind of. Goals. Yeah, but then I got it together when I decided that, you know what, Serena, just do your regular thing and everything will be okay. So it was actually Nana Day, so Nana came mm -hmm. over and um, she ordered a little breakfast. So she requested some eggs and some toast and so we just got to cooking. And next thing you know, I came around the corner and they had grabbed their chef hats and mm -hmm. their aprons and they were like, Mommy, can we cook the eggs? And I was like... Yes, friends, yes. <laughs> you I probably would have said no. Yeah, I, I know, but yeah. we said we were going to work on that. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay. Eggs! <laughs> An exciting egg experience. They are learning how to make boiled eggs and scrambled eggs yes, today. We've got our kids' cookbook out today. Oh, ask her what she wants to order. Kind of like a... <laughs> oh, those eggs look good, Cam. I'm a chef too. Cam knows a waiter. But we get real food instead of pretending. Welcome to Kendall and Cameron's festival. I am Kendall. And I am Cam. <laughs> the TH sound in a French accent sounds like the Z sound. The sandwich is almost done as an example. Got it? So it was perfect and I am all about like maximizing the moment. I had to go grab my farm anatomy book because mm -hmm. I remember that there was a page inside of the farm anatomy book that talked about the anatomy of an egg. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm about to get this book out <laughs> and make it a whole lesson. So this little thing is a joke. That little one right there, the shell. They made eggs and we brought out our anatomy book. The anatomy of an egg. So <laughs> How's your eggs? Good. On average, one hen lays 260 eggs per year. Fresh egg. Find out how old an egg is by placing it in water. A fresh egg yolk stands up. An old egg yolk flat. Old egg yolk flat. Find out how old an egg is by placing it in water. Older eggs have bigger air cells and will float. We should try that. I cook egg for myself. I then cook scrambled so eggs and I earned three dollars. Nana gave you three dollars for tip. Yeah, so how about that for an educational experience? So mm -hmm. they made their eggs. They learned a little bit more about the eggs. We talked about the boiling temperature. Just math and homework. Yes, it's a lot. There you go. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so we did that. During every week off, we do our quiet reading time. <laughs> Did you learn something? Mm -hmm. That Rahab is the great great grandmother of David. Oh, you didn't know that? No. Oh. Did you? No, I didn't. So, what did you enjoy about the book? Everything. Is there a book five? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening to today? The next thing I had planned for us to do was to kind of research about propagating some of our plants. Okay. So just taking clippings from the plants that we have and putting them in the water to see if we can get them to grow roots. So. Yes, child. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. What are we going to be doing today? We're going to try to propagate the snake plant and the peace lily and the pothos. Sometimes people want to put them in water to watch their roots grow because it is actually quite beautiful to see roots growing through clear glass or you, if you have more than five or six plants, you potentially could cut some maranta. There are many ways to propagate plants from seed. I'm going to talk about how easy it is to propagate certain plants. We watched The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. Cameron told him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've been wanting to watch this for a while. And the reason I came to this conclusion, I, we're doing our botany unit and it's all about um, the things that you need to grow. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to drive that in. And I remembered about the boy who harnessed the wind. I'm always trying to find things to highlight the idea, you know, yeah. and the graces that we've been given to explore mm -hmm. the ideas that we have. So um, I knew we wanted to watch the boy who harnessed the wind. Yeah, so, it was a good movie. Yeah, it was a really good movie, but it's a lot of reading. They had to read a lot of the captions. I think the whole thing is captions. Yeah, it yeah. is. And so a couple of times during the movie, I would ask Savannah, are you okay? Can you read it all? And she'd be like, yeah, I got it. You know. I think that's the water thing. to determine whether or not it was appropriate for your children. Again, please, if I ever recommend something, please understand that it's appropriate for my children and you would have to use your own discretion. But, but that yeah, website is pretty good though. Yeah. Oh, commonsensemedia.org. Common Sense yeah. Uh, yeah, I think one of my subscribers mm -hmm. told me about it and it's been really helpful in giving me like a little bit of direction as far as that's concerned. Books and movies. Yeah, books yeah. and movies. So we watched that, which was amazing. We loved it. It's about a boy and they're in Africa and um, they make a living off of their farming season, but there is major dryness and he has an idea to harness the wind, building a windmill. So it goes through the challenges that he faces. And I just thought it was appropriate because they're trying to troubleshoot and find a way to harness the wind mm -hmm. to um, power the water pump mm -hmm. which then would give the seeds what it needs and the soil what it needs to grow the plants it was perfect yeah. like it was perfect mm -hmm. for our botany unit and what we've been talking about as far as seed time and harvest and things like that so it was like perfect along with my botany mm -hmm. plants I have the good and the beautiful's botany unit mm -hmm. um, but I also have the good and the beautiful's energy unit and I knew there had to be something at least some part of it inside of the unit that talked about the windmill mm -hmm. so um, we popped some popcorn and when we watched the movie um, we read that part of the unit for example sunlight hits the equator much more differently than it hits the north and south poles hot air rises and cooler air moves in so when the air near the equator is heated much more than the air near the poles, wind power uses moving air as a source of energy. 
The spinning of the turbine creates electricity. Wind power has many advantages. It is clean energy, meaning that it does not cause pollution or release carbon dioxide. Also, wind is almost everywhere. Uh, Kendall's all about some good popcorn in the movie. <laughs> so, of course, I let him um, help me pop the popcorn, which was amazing all in itself. There's a lot of steam in here. <laughs> I was so overwhelmed because I was frustrated that my plans didn't seem to be working out the way I wanted them to. And I was telling Brian that I feel like sometimes you're trying to do something new. Like I had the thought to myself, like, what are you doing? Like, mm -hmm. why are you trying to film this? This is not whatever. But I think that sometimes as you're trying to work your way through things, there's a certain grace that shows up mm -hmm. um, and you know it by its fruit. You know, and if the kids at the end of the day were just like all oh, a mess and confused and frustrated, then that would have been fruit that told me that maybe I'm doing something that's not so good right now. But they loved it. But they, they had a ball and we had such a good time. Yeah. And so when I was popping the popcorn, I thought to myself, I, I'm pretty sure there's a page or two mm -hmm. on um, corn yeah. in the farm anatomy book. So I broke out my farm anatomy book again, mm -hmm. Kendall. And he was like, oh. Oh, I know. I have an idea. And he was like, where's my iPad? <laughs> so he went to his um, app and they had a small video on what happens to the kernel mm -hmm. in order for it to pop and the air pressure and stuff. So we watched that. I mean, listen out of the popcorn, yeah. listen out of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> All the things was working together for everything, my good. Everything worked. It, it did. It did. It is a nice sound. It sounds like music. Like that Monday through Wednesday was kind of a bust. Yeah. And then that Thursday and Friday just kind of all made up for it. I'm in the process of redoing the chalkboard. So we have a chalkboard room here and the homeschool room or the discovery room. And <laughs> in their room, they also have a chalkboard wall. And I filled that with like Bible verses and scriptures. And I was really impressed with how much they retained and remembered just by the information like being there. So you were impressed? Yeah. It was so did, did did your friend get really? points? Really? Are we doing this? <laughs> did I get points? You just remember. But yes. did I get points? You got points. Yes, for you the got, chalkboard wall that you, you thought points. was. And I never really heard of a chalkboard wall inside of a house. So but it's it's bomb. It, and it's, you know it. It's a good idea. They like the chalkboard wall. <laughs> so he's working on the wall. Yeah. So next, I really want to get back to being more consistent with doing a regular, you know, Bible study with them. So the first step is me redoing the wall. part of next week's video which I'm excited mm -hmm. about it'll be a good one yeah I'm, I'm releasing my expectations but at the same time I'm saying it's gonna be a good yeah it sounds like you're setting the bar pretty it, high it's gonna be a great homeschool okay. week is what I'm saying okay so the, the video has to be good because the week gonna is be gonna a, be good yes okay. the week is gonna be good all right so thank you for being here with me again you're like a regular thank you for having me I'm I missed out last week <laughs> yeah the kids filled in yeah now next time we'll have to try to get all the gang in. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next. Savannah, are you filming us now? Yes. Help us say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video and we will see you next week. See you next Sunday. Bye. <laughs>
Bye. <laughs> Bye.